Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing a different kind of video. It's kind of a vlog. Well, I'm not sure if it counts as a vlog. You tell me after. But we are doing a studio makeover. My studio was functional, but it was in need of a change. It was very cluttered, things were all over the place. And you know when you see a really cute studio, a clean studio, you just want to use it, you want to create in it. Well, that's what I wanted. I had a lot of help and probably without this help from my boyfriend, I just would never have done it. I realized in this project that interior decoration really isn't my skill. I know what I like and I can recognize it when I see it, but I just can't visualize it for my own space. Also, I don't really want to buy a lot of things. I want to use what I already have. So sometimes I just, I just don't have the nice furniture or I will have to buy so many things just to have it look like the image I like. So I end up not doing anything. So we just worked a little bit to tidy it up, to make it more inspirational with all the prints that you can see here and use the walls a bit more for storage and for pretty things. You're going to see a before tour, then you're going to see us mess everything up and put everything back together, and then you're going to see an after tour. So enjoy. So this is my studio. I'm going to show you every little spot that we have here before we do a makeover. Please excuse the mess. <laughs> I think it's messy because it's not really optimized. So I'm hoping it's not going to be as messy once it's all put together. First of all, when you come through the door, you arrive here. This is my filming setup. I work on this table right here and I have my two lights here and my camera goes here to do the top shots. So we can see on the table like this. So I sit here. I either have this chair or this bench there. And here I put all my camera things, so I have all my batteries and stuff. So when my camera dies, it's really easy to reach for them. And this is my spare memory card. So all my things for filming is here. This is my bag for my mic. This is the cards to do the white balance. Everything is really close to me when I film. Behind, I have some lost space that I would like to take back because this camera stand in fact, it's a mic stand. It reaches really far. It's almost touching the wall here. It means that behind there's a lot of lost space that I use right now to put all my fabric. I want it to be stored better because I don't think it looks very cute, first of all. And I don't use it that much, so I can just put it away. We have a big mirror here that I just put on the ground because I have no idea where to put it. So maybe we'll put it somewhere. Maybe it's gonna stay there for now. Here we have another table. I used to film there before. Sometimes it's placed that way. Before it was placed facing the window. And I used to move it all the time because I used the window light as my main light source. Now I use these. These are my boyfriend's stuff. He works here sometimes for fun. He likes to draw houses. So this is where he works when he works with me. So here I placed a lot of different things that I use. So I have all my pens and pencil here. I have some watercolor stuff right here. I have my markers here, my color pencil here. This is a bunch of miscellaneous stuff. This I would like to put on a wall. I want to be able to reach everything more easily. So that's, that's going to be the goal to use the walls as well. I have my paintbrushes right here, some tape that I would like to put away because it doesn't need to be here, and some watercolor tubes that I have here. These are just like some random papers that I don't know why they're there. So these are some calligraphy brushes that I never used. And these are my watercolor brushes. Near the window, we have some plants. Beneath the desk, we have all my inks. I want them to be more accessible than that. I don't like them being on the ground. We have an extension cord right here. Okay, so on the other side. Here we have this big easel that I never use, but I really, really, really want to use it at some point. We have the tiny little easel on the ground right there with the hat on top. Behind this door, we put all like our 
wood that we would like to use to make some shelves. And here we have a tabletop. So sometimes in the summer we use this tabletop with my little table here and we put it on the balcony outside and we work outside. We have some art that I bought in Japan. On here we have some art that I made. This is a print that my good friend made me. And here we have a chair. Behind I have some photography stuff that I don't know where to put yet. We have my umbrella right here that I use for my flash and some backgrounds. Oh, on this side, we have a tiny shelf here that I don't know if I'm going to keep because it's so tiny and maybe it doesn't need to be there, I don't know. Behind we have this beautiful thing. I made this for Christmas and I didn't put it down. And we have another shelf full of beautiful things. And finally, in here we have more storage. On top there I have canvases. On here I have some sketchbooks and other papers. On here I have my acrylic paints that I don't use that much so I don't mind if they're still there and they're really easy to take out. I don't really know what this is. This is my sewing machine which is still accessible so that's good. And other canvases. Here I have my photography lights. I have other backgrounds here and here you won't really see much but they're just like other shelves that aren't really useful because the way they are placed they're just like it's hard to reach there. So yeah, that's the before. We have the different measures and we are going to make a couple different options on this paper for how we could place stuff. We are the next day. We weren't able to finish everything yesterday like I wanted. Turns out it was maybe a bit too much work for the time we had. But I can show you what we did so far. So it's still very messy. We are going to clean everything up this morning. And this afternoon we'll be able to work here. So we did this wall. I don't know if you saw, but we were struggling for a bit because we were thinking about putting shelves there. So we cut some paper to place instead of the shelves to visualize better how everything would fit on the wall. And then when I did some tests with my camera, the goal was to have a nicer YouTube background and have a prettier studio. But turns out the shelves were not very nice in my videos. They were sticking out of my head. We're putting shelves in the corner. 
Very messy. So let me show you the final result. First of all, here's a general overview of the room. You can see that the changes we did are pretty subtle, but I feel like they add an artsy vibe to this room. Let's start with my filming corner. So here my filming setup is now in the corner. Before I was taking a bit more space in the room, but now it's pushed in the corner, so it frees a lot more space in this room. The setup is pretty much the same. I don't know if you were wondering, but the fabric basket is still there, but I cleaned it up a little bit. I got rid of some fabric that I knew I would never use, so it looks a bit more tidy. And it's pretty much the only place to put it because I don't really have any other place in this room. One of the changes that we have in this corner is this table. Before it was on the other side there. And all my filming gear was there, my memory cards, my batteries, everything was on this table. But now it's hung on the wall, so it's still close to my filming setup, but it freed the table. And I had this little tray here that I really wanted to put on a wall. And this table is still in the same place that it was before, but there's a lot less stuff on it. You pretty much only have some drawing things. So all my pens and pencils are in here. I have some, I don't know what it's called, fusain in French, but in English, I have no idea. I have my markers that are still in this box and I put my watercolors on the wall. That was the plan when I made this board, but I didn't put it on a wall for some reason, but now it's on the wall and I think it's gonna stay there. In this drawer, oh, this would need some cleanup, but that's gonna be for another time. And this drawer has a lot of sewing stuff. So all my threads, my needles, some tape, measuring tape, and we have some architecture drawing tools in here too. Oh, and I also have this. I have no idea what this is. If you know what it is, please tell me. This is a mystery that I can't solve. So it's like all of these they feel a bit chalky, but they don't leave a trace on the paper. Behind all of these is the same signs. I don't know what they mean. They have all different colors, so I have no idea what this is. Please, if you know, tell me. Let's just close this drawer and not think about it again. On top here, we pretty much have all the same decorations that we did. I just switched this painting. This painting was on the big easel that is behind me, and uh, I put it there instead. We have the plants near the window and my coffee mug that I left there. So we made a little corner here with the chair. Sometimes sit there to write, to read, to draw. Sometimes when we want to be super cozy. 
And we have a little surprise inside. Oh, the baby. Oh, so sweet. So this boy, oh, he cried a little bit. This boy has been very interested with the whole decorating process. He always wanted to be there, but sometimes we had to close the door because there was some nails and it wasn't a safe environment for a kitten. But now he can enjoy the room and it's pretty much the first time he, he sleeps in, on this chair. So I think he likes the decoration. Here we put two shelves. I really wanted to put some painting material on there because I wanted to be able to see my stuff more because I thought that if I see it more, I'll want to use it more. I have all my acrylic inks. I have some China ink that I never used. All these, the China inks and the inks on the top shelf were given to me along with the mysterious Chinese um, colorful things that I show you that I don't know what they are. So, and I asked the person who gave it to me and she doesn't know what the Chinese things are either. So that's why I'm asking. <laughs> Here I put my inks and some brushes that I use a bit less because these are like my, my acrylic brushes and some pots here that I use for watercolor. This I use for watercolor too. So cute. This is the inspiration wall. I wanted to put some prints, to put some artwork that I had, some that I made, some that were given to me, some that I bought. The goal is to change the artwork, switch it up from time to time. Here's a print that I bought at an art show. I don't know who the artist is, I forgot. This is a, a painting practice that I did, the reference I found on Pinterest. This is a print from my sister. I'll link her shop in the description. This is one of my prints. This is a print from the Baltic Club uh, company here in Montreal. I'll link them to below. This is a print that my friend made me. I'll link her Instagram below. And this is a painting that I did. It's based on a picture I took in Nova Scotia. The big easel is still there. I really want to use it, so it's nice. It's gonna be easy to grab. Um, oh yeah, and here I put this painting of Sphinx cats that I did a couple years ago. I, I want to switch it at some point, but I want to put a bigger painting there. So I put this there for now. The last thing is that we reorganize in here. Forgive the white balance. We put a light in there. That's why it's all yellow now. So we can plug it in in here whenever we need it. And now we can see a lot better. On the top shelf, I put my gouache and my watercolor and some uh, pots I use when I do acrylics and some books about art, a couple of older sketchbooks that aren't filled completely. Here are my acrylics and some sketchbook that I'm currently using along with some like pieces of paper that I could use if I wanted just to draw or paint on a piece of paper. So I have that there. Here are all my canvases wood boards, everything I need to paint on. On here, I, I put some that I want to cover with gesso and start over. And here I have my watercolor paper and some brushes. Here we still have my sewing machine and it didn't really change. On this side, I just put like my photography props, some big paint pots, my tape. I'm so happy about this space now. Every time I pass next to it, I look in this room and then I see every decoration that I put, all the prints, the little shelves with all my art stuff and I just want to come in and I want to paint, which was the main goal of this studio makeover. I feel like I'm talking with my hands. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave me a like, a comment and if you didn't subscribe yet, please do. We are going to resume with the art content next week. Until then, Take care and drink a lot of water. Bye.